I'm Debaza Joshua. Uh, I do music. My stage name is Joe Loso. And I'm under Coco Sound Entertainment right now. Yeah, that's me. Well, I started music from, I would say, from when I was a kid. Um, I was listening to most of um, hip life um, champs, you know, like Lord Kenya, you know, Red Rockstone or Bradford, and I kind of tuned to hip hop a bit, and 50 Cent to Park Ja Rules, then the, the kind of went back and forth, and yeah, that was it. And I started writing music basically around like class four, but I started doing it professionally, let's say last year when I released my first EP, Smile of Pain. It's still out there, Smile of Pain, go copy, go listen, it's really dope. My upcoming single is titled I'm OK. It's titled I'm OK. It's produced by Was Chumesi. It's a hip hop, um, trappy kind of sound. Yeah, infused with a kind of really emotional, melodic vibe. Yeah, that is it. It's based on mental health and not giving up, pursuing your dreams, even through the darkest nights. Um, even if you are depressed, even if you are. I mean, anxiety heightened. You still need to go in for whatever you need to go in for. It's about me being in a state of depression, but still chasing my goals. Yeah. Um, I think I was there one night. My mom just barged in. I was like, yo, you don't look good. Are you OK? I was like, yeah, I'm OK. But I wasn't really OK. Actually trying to depict that I'm OK, but I'm not OK motivated with the fact that not everybody smiling has everything good going upstairs and it's gonna also kind of preach to people that the brightest people or the people who make you laugh the most majority of them go through the darkest shit like the most darkest shit the saddest shit in the world but they still move on regardless whatever goes on in their head so um i was motivated um by mostly those people me being included and me finding out that yo i'm not alone i have a lot of those people so i try to put it in a sound infuse it in a sound and like make people who haven't heard it also before like experience whatever shit i'm going through musically the name of the track of the track is to um kind of tell people who are going through dark shit you know, tell people who are going through depression and anxiety, niggas out there that is bipolar, to not give up and still chase their dreams no matter what they go through. I feel people who are depressed and people who are anxiety heightened and people who are going through bipolar disorder, all those kind of mental health issues, have something great in them, you know, that is trying to be, you know, all those conditions are just circumstances or blockages on the road trying to dampen them and trying to let them feel less of themselves. I feel like it's something great inside them, but those things are kind of pressuring and putting them down and not giving them enough hope to do whatever they want to do. I just want to reach out to those people and let them know that, yo, whatever you are going through is just a blockage of what is ahead. So there's something great ahead. So keep on chasing your dreams, no matter the dark nights, no matter the tears, no matter the pills you take, no matter the weed you smoke, no matter everything you do, just chase your dreams through the dark nights. And people who chase their dreams that are injured, injured people who chase their dreams and reach their goals are basically the strongest people out of it all. So you are still strong, chase your dreams, even if you are depressed, even if you are anxiety heightened, going through bipolar disorder, yo, chase your dreams, magic, chase it. Um, actually, I grew up on hip hop, yeah? I grew up on hip hop, the trap sound. Not the trap sound, at that time that trap hasn't even been, you know, um, introduced into the hip hop world. It was basically more of, you know, heavy kicks and the 50 cents, the jar rules, you know, the little lines. And then I kind of got introduced to trap, the Gucci Mane's, and then the Waka Flackers, Young Jesus. So as time went on, I also started feeling in love um, Falling in love with um, Nigerian sounds, Nigerian gospel that made like, you know, made you feel really emotional. And I also got introduced to certain sounds like Lana Del Rey's them, like they had really emotional sh shit going on. So I decided, yo, this is a song that talks about depression, yeah? 
talks about emotions, talks about emotions that are being heightened, talks about the downs, the lows. And I'm also a guy who kind of focuses or centers his music on hip hop, something that raises your energy. So I decided, yo, let me balance this, all right? I'm going through depression. Doesn't mean that anytime I'm going through depression, anytime I'm going through dark stuff, I should cry or something like that. This is a song that needs to raise your spirits. Even doesn't matter what you're going through, needs to raise your spirits. So I felt, yo, the emotions or the lyrics needs to be sober, but the beats needs to go hard. And I trusted that into Wastro um, He's been my producer like from day one. So I told yo, bro, let's do this. All right, let's make something emotional, but also raises your energy. So kind of the physical, um, the physical art of it was more of like, yo, I'm crying, but I'm dancing. I'm crying, but I'm smiling. I'm crying, but I'm energetic. So goes the beat, the kicks and the hats and then the snares go hard. But the keys and then the, the pads and then everything also involved goes like really emotional. So it's mostly like, like if only you get what I'm saying. But listen to the song, you'll get what I'm saying if you listen to the song. Yeah? recorded two two years ago i would say or like approximately one and then one and then nine months ago one year nine months ago so let's say two years ago but we had to put in a lot of work a lot of energy and then to be honest there are a lot of songs there right but we choose to release um whichever song we want to release based on what is happening around the world right now and Whichever time I feel like, yo, this track needs to be out there for the world right now. This world, this song, the world needs it, you know. So I feel like it was recorded two years ago, but we needed to release it like right now. This is the right time to let the world know this. There's going to be an official video. And I'm, I'm not going to lie. I, through one of my encounters here, I got introduced to a pill and LSD. Yeah, I took LSD and I felt very okay, right? I felt very good. I felt very all right, but I started feeling some kind of sensations and seeing like experiencing changes in my physical like um, interactions. Like my environment was kind of changing in some way. And I kind of met um, um, Osmensa and he's a very hardcore video director. And I saw like his works on 3D animations and things and I felt like, yo, instead of going in for a normal video, why don't I let this guy know that, yo, this is what I felt, this is what I saw, and this is the emotion, so this is what I saw when I was writing the songs, and this is what I saw amongst one of the times that I was feeling very, very okay. So I kind of projected it into him. I felt like, yo, this is the colors I used to see, you know? And these are things that I talked about. I felt like I was out of this world when I took that pill. I felt like I was okay, I was good, you know, and I felt also out of this world. So I didn't want you to feel like I was on earth. I wanted to feel like I was out of space. So I told him, yo, we need to make a video that kind of shows me floating in space. And then he said, yo, say less, let's work. And then it's a very vi good video. I don't think it's been made in Ghana before. Like anticipate for it. The video is really crazy. It's really mad. So yeah. There's gonna be a hard video for it. The next single depends on where you guys push this to. Depends on how you receive this song. If you haven't received this song, yo, it might be my last. Of course, it might be my last. I'm just joking, but yo, receive it. Yeah, the next single is gonna be harder than this. It's gonna make you train harder than this. So. Probably might even be an album or EP, depends on how you guys spread this. So it, it's gonna be out soon. Yeah, Joe Loso Official, my socials are Joe Loso Official on all media platforms Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Yeah, Joe Loso Official, J O I L O W S O Official. If you don't know official, how to spell official, the Wawa Sam, the Bob. So. Yeah, on all social media. And shout out, shout out to everyone who's been supporting me from day one. Shout out to Kusan Entertainment. Shout out to Supplies Media. Shout out to every nigga that's been holding my back down. Shout out to every motherfucker that's been spreading my news, spreading my news, spreading my artwork. I hope you'll push this and I'll never put you down. I'll never let you down. So, yeah.